it's Rachel here and today I am sharing a project that I'm making for Scrapbook Nerd and I thought I would chat about it first because um, I started to make this project off camera because I wasn't sure um, if I would be able to do it fast enough and then the editing would take forever because I'm watching my tutorial, not my tutorial, a tutorial. Um, the tutorial is, it's called a DIY gift card folder um, from uh, Bambi Deer. So I will link that down below. She has great tutorials. Uh, Amber is her name. And so this is me in the process so far. So I thought I'd show you and then I'll speed it up and we'll get working on it. But it's been really easy to make so far. There was only one part I messed up, this little part here, but then I redid it and it didn't waste paper, much paper at all or anything. So it wasn't a big deal. But um, if you follow along with my crafts, I'm not very good at like these 3D intricate projects. I do pretty simple things with my scrapbook layouts and tag flips. But I really have been wanting to try some new things this year. So this is one of them. So you can see it kind of closes like that. I'm using the Coco Vanilla Studio These Days collection. I think this paper is so pretty. Both sides of it are so pretty. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm making little pockets. And then they're going to be attached right here. And you can like flip through it. I think this would be a really cute thing for multiple things. Firstly, it would be a really cute gift for anyone if you were giving them gift cards and then you can fit the gift card in the little pocket. It's cute for Christmas or any time of year presents or whatever. Um, and then, of course, you can just do like regular happy mail with this and put little ephemera and stickers in each of the pockets or a little note or something. Um, and you could also do a mini album. You could make this into a mini album. Um, I'm actually going to put Velcro right here. I forgot I wanted to say that. Um, but you can put little photos in here as well. Um, you could put like a shaker pocket on the front. Ooh, maybe I'll do that. Should I do a shaker pocket? That would be really cute. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to finish assembling this and then we'll get embellishing it and all those fun things. So we're going to speed it up, but I just kind of wanted to talk you through what I've done so far. Really simple and straightforward, but let's get, um, sped up and, uh, assembling this. Okay. So I know I said I was going to speed it up. But I just wanted to show you something. I did some sewing on this that I wish I would have done beforehand. And my sewing, for some reason, that happened. I don't know, but it's fine. It looks pretty. I'm going to do a sequin thing here in the front. This is actually from my shop called, uh, this uh, sequin mix is called These Days to match this collection. So I thought I would use it because uh, it will match really nicely. It has like the same pinks and greens as the collection. So that's from my shop. But um, I love to like pair sequin mixes with collections that I get from Scrapbook Nerd. And These Days is one of them. And this collection is gorgeous. Um... And I also sewed the pockets. Again, I wish I would have sewed them all before I put them together because I would have sewed here. But if I sewed there after I put it together, it would have been sewn shut. So now I'm going to assemble it all and finish the sequin pouch. And then we'll speed this up and uh, embellish it. Alrighty, so there is the little sequin mix and I think it looks really cute. I'm glad I did that and I'm going to assemble these pockets. Remy is going to be very annoying for a few minutes but I tried to cut out as much as possible um, and she will move in a second. She was just very curious with everything going on. Um, I don't know why because I craft almost every day so it's not out of the ordinary but she was looking for attention and later on she hissed at me. So I don't know what that was all about. I don't know. Maybe I was petting her the wrong way or in the wrong spot. But anyway, I glued this on and um, I am going to do some embellishing now. I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but this video is for Scrapbook Nerd and I'm using supplies from their website. This is Coco Vanilla Studio These Days Collection. I gave a thumbs up because it was assembled and now I could do the fun part. Um, I will have all of the links down below. Co Coco Vanilla Studio has just been killing it this these past couple of years. I think their collections are really beautiful. Their florals, the colors they choose, the like watercoloriness of it all, very pretty. So um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this for. I think I'm going to gift it in some mail. I don't really have any swaps that 
I am working on right now, but I'm going to save it. I have a little, well, I shouldn't say a little, I have a big container of, um, of just crafts I make that I might eventually want to give to somebody if I agree to do a swap. Uh, and I just have some things ready and made, um, and then I can add to it. So that's what I'll do with this for now until I figure out what I want to do with it and who I want to give it to. I'll just leave it in that box, and I'm sure the perfect person will come along eventually. That's always the fun part, waiting for the perfect swap. Um, uh, or maybe I'll give it to someone as a gift. Who knows? We will see. But there's the front. I think it looks really cute. I put that little typewriter and then that circle was actually from the sticker sheet and um, used some uh, tiny word stickers as well. So now I'm going to embellish the pockets and I think it looks really cute with like things popping out of this out the sides and stuff. I'm gonna I'm also going to use some dimension here as well use some foam and stick those on and I accidentally stuck it too soon and I I don't know I don't know what happened here but maybe it was Remy distracting me because she was truly getting in the way but I'm gonna add this really cute little bike here oh my gosh Remy <laughs> she's like she has her face right up to it okay now I take her off finally I just grabbed these gems from my stash that I thought matched so well with this collection I thought the colors were perfect with the peaches and the um what else like the mint green and the blue and then I'm gonna add some of those tiny word stickers from the sticker sheet i'm almost done using up that sticker sheet which is exciting i love using things up i love making room for new things and creating beautiful projects and this kit or this collection also came with these beautiful gold little puffy-ish hearts i don't know what they are but they're amazing um, and now I'm just trying to figure out what to do on the next page and I decide to go with this beautiful little um, mail uh, envelope that has flowers sticking out of it. It's really cute. I've actually been hoarding that piece for a while, um, but I decided to finally use it on here because if I don't use it on this, when am I ever going to use it? So might as well use it. It's adorable and this will be mail for somebody, so it makes sense anyway. Um, or maybe I'll just display it in my craft room. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I don't have to decide right now. I can also display it in my craft room right now and then um, decide to uh, gift it to somebody later. You know, you can do whatever you want with your crafts and your creations. I'd love to know what you're working on right now. If you're working on some happy mail or if you're working on a gift for a friend or if you're working on a scrapbook or Project Life or a Traveler's Notebook, let me know in the comments what your current project is. I always have so many projects on the go, so it's not one particular project that I'm working on. I'm working on them all. <laughs> um, I added some um, stickers from the sticker book here and some ephemera, that little butterfly that's like flying off. I think that's cute. Sorry about this funny angle. It's kind of hard to position this in a way where you can see it and also craft at the same time. So I'm sorry. Uh, I will show close-ups at the end. I put that little banner piece on. I thought that looked really cute. And uh, when you embellish it this much, it's kind of hard to fit um, a gift card in here nicely. So maybe this i'll have to skip the gift card part because i really stuffed these with like embellishments and stuff so i went really went a little crazy with that um but i think they're fun anyway um and this was a really fun and easy project to make um i will have all the links down below for scrapbook nerd where you can get these products and um for the tutorial i use just in case you want to try making it um, i love the little velcro there i think it really helps it to stay together and here's what it looks like inside. I hope this inspired you. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I think that's it. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.